Hello and welcome to Living Supernaturally. It's awesome that you could uh, join today even as we look into God's Word. And uh, in today's episode, we're going to be looking at one of the prayers that Paul prayed uh, over the church in Ephesus. And it's interesting to see the kind of things that he's praying for the church to experience, for the believers to experience and to walk in. So this can be our prayer for us. This can be our prayer over those uh, in our families and maybe over those whom the Lord has placed us as spiritual overseers. So let's look at Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 14. Paul says, For this reason I bow, I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, from whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named, that he would grant you, according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with might through his Spirit in the inner man. So that's the first thing that he prays. But then that he would grant you, uh, according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with might through his spirit in the inner man. So God's will for us is to be strong in our inner man, to be strong in the spirit man, and uh, to be strengthened with the ability of the Holy Spirit in the inner man. And the word again used there is that we will be strengthened with his, uh, with with might. And the word used there is dunamis, which means supernatural power. The Lord wants us to be strengthened with supernatural power. And this would come only by the power of the Holy Spirit. When the Holy Spirit quickens the word to us, the word produces faith in us. It builds us up. We are edified. When, when the Holy Spirit releases the gifts in us, when we pray in the Holy Spirit, when we pray in tongues, we are being edified in the inner man and, the, and, and we are being strong in the inner man. We are built up. And uh, similarly, when the Holy Spirit leads us, um, you know, we can pray for openness, for people to be open to the leading of the Holy Spirit, for people to be open to the power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit. So that's one thing that he prays. Secondly, he says that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, that you being rooted and grounded in love, may be able to understand the love of God. So that Christ-likeness would be seen in us. When we are rooted in God's love, like when we have a firm grip of God's love, and when we are drawing from God's love, the word used there is, is indicative of striking a root, a root striking deep inside. So, um, so Paul is praying that, saying that you being rooted and grounded, meaning foundation, like a foundation that we established firmly in the love of God. And he's saying that you may uh, grow up, that you being rooted, that Christ may dwell in your hearts, that you may be able to comprehend or understand the width and the depth and the love of God. And you notice that he says that you may be able to comprehend with all the saints. So it's not a not only is it an individual pursuit that we personally go and individually pray, but it's a collective, corporate, community pursuit where we pursue the love of God or we go after and we, we are built up in the love of God, understand the love of God as a community. So let's pray this over ourselves and over others as well. Let's pray. Father, we thank you. We thank you, Lord, that we have this opportunity to be strengthened with your might in the inner man. And Lord, we thank you that we have this opportunity to be rooted and grounded in your love in order to be Christ-like, Lord. And I pray that Christ-likeness will be seen in us, that your love will be reflected in and through our lives, and also your power be made manifest through our lives, Lord. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.